Hi everyone, welcome back to the part 2 of my ultimate weapons rack guides. In this video, we are going to take a detailed look at the weapons racks on all the Aegis and Envo ships. And I am going through all the ships and manufacturers in alphabetical order. So in the next video, we will be going through all the Argos, the Crusaders and the Drakes. First of all, let's take a look at all the Aegis and Envo ships that contain weapons racks. And again, if I missed anything, please leave in the comments below as you guys did in my first part of the video. Really appreciate it. So I spent a lot of time and I checked every single ship as best as I can. And I find out that for the Aegis ships, the Avenger Stalker, Avenger Titan, Avenger Titan Renegade, and Warlock do not have weapon racks. So is the Eclipse. But the Gladiuses, they contain a weapons rack. I spent a lot of time on my hammerhead and I do not find even a single weapons rack. Did I miss anything? So if there is any weapons rack on the hammerhead, please let me know. Of course, the Redeemer does have a nice weapons rack. So is the Retaliator. Actually, the Retaliator has a few really nice weapons racks. And the Saber and the Saber Comets, they have weapons rack. Saber Raven does not have a weapons rack. The Vanguard Harbinger, Hoplite, Sentinel, and Warden, they all have weapons racks. So these are the Aegis ships. For the Envo ships, the Arrow, I do not find one. Pisces, Pisces Rescue, Pisces Expedition, I do not find any weapons rack. The Carrick does have some good weapons racks, but compared with the size of the ship, it's just a little bit lackluster. The Hornet series, do not, none of these has weapons racks. What a disappointment. The Envo Gladiator does not have weapons rack. Envo Hawk, no. Hurricane, negative. Terrapin does have a nice little weapons rack. The Valkyrie has one of the best weapons racks in game. So these are the Aegis and Envo ships. Now let's go check them out. The first ship we're going to be looking at is the Aegis Gladius. Oh, by the way. Earlier, when I was preparing for this video, I was attacked by a group of pirates. Player pirates. So that's why I put Captain over there with a ballista on top of a rock to provide some uh, security details. I, I fought back with my real gun, but I don't have enough ammo. Eventually, I have to log out and redo the preparation all over again. I was a little bit mad, but on the other hand, I think it's a good thing because it adds life to the verse because you don't want the verse to be all safe. It's the shadow that shows the beauty of the sunlight, right? You can see. Oh, there's no shadow here, but the, the shadow of the ships and the shadow of uh, the mountain over there. But, uh, well, you know what I mean. So it adds life to the verse. So make you think. So whatever you do, you need to think about the danger, the risks. So it adds a lot of gravity in the verse. So I think it's a good thing, actually. So right now, I'm very careful. I place Captain on top of that rock with a blister. But I also find this place is not close to any mining station or anything. So it's very secret place. All right, so Gladius. So the Gladius has a very nice weapons rack over here. If you open the door. I already put two weapons here. FS9 and a custodian and also you can put a tractor beam if you've watched my first video of the the alien ship Talon it's exactly the same for the top two weapons rack you can only put size one and size two weapons you cannot put a real gun or heavy weapon but at the bottom you can put a tractor beam you can also put a med gun over here but you cannot put a pistol over here. And it looks like you have two places that you can put your med gun and uh, tractor beam, but this one is not functional. You don't see any place button, I tried. So only one slot. You can put uh, either a multi-tool or a med gun. So that's this, that's the Gladius. Oh, by the way, I'm also gonna show you the external storage. So the Gladius, if you don't know, the Gladius also have a external storage of 250k micro ICU, which is a shared storage, which means you, if you go on the mission, you not only can put weapons here, you can also put ammos and waters and food over here in this storage. 
And of course, the Gladius is a single seater, but if you want to share with other people in your party, so this storage is a shared storage. Other people can also access it. Okay, this is the Aegis Redeemer. The Redeemer's weapons rack is on top of the ship, as you can see, it's uh, over here. So there is a glass window blocking it. It's really nice. You just click it and it opens. Yeah, for the Redeemer, I wish you could have one more for the heavy weapons, but no, we only have four weapon slots and you can put size one and size two weapons. I believe you can also put your pistol. I'm gonna try it. Negative. You cannot put your pistol here. Med gun. Negative. Truck the beam. Negative. So for the Redeemer, you can only put four size one or size two weapons. And that's it. So I don't see any. Oh. Oops, my secrets has been revealed. Um, I need to close this. I need to close this. <laughs> no. See, there is nothing behind this door. Nothing at all. And you guys didn't see anything. So this is the weapon rack for the Redeemer. Next ship is the Retaliator. I really love the weapons racks on the Retaliator. If I don't do this project, I probably would take me a while to find out the weapon racks. So the weapons rack is behind the pilot seat. Over here, you have a turret here, but you have to climb the ladder, get on top, and walk cross over this turret. And it's all here. Look at this, 12 slots. So you can put size 1 and size 2 weapons, you can put pistol, you can put tractor beam, you can put the med guns. How nice is that? Look at this. If you have a retaliator, be sure to make best use of this weapons rack. Next ship is the... Saber or the Saber Comet. You have a weapons rack over here on the right side. Same as the Gladius. You have on the top, you have two weapons rack, which you can put only says one and says two weapons. And the bottom over here, you can put a tractor beam, I believe. Let me see. You can also put a med gun. You see, looks like you have two places you can put one here, one here, but uh, Somehow, you don't have the option to put it over here. Maybe that's an oversight from CIG because that's enough space to put uh, another multi-tool or med gun. But uh, we're not able to. So the pistol is negative. So same as a Gladius. But for the Saber, same as a Gladius, you have a shared storage of 250k micro ICU. So you can put ammo and water and food here to go on mission. So this storage is also shared. All right. So the Vanguard Harbinger has a really, really nice weapons rack because it's retractable. There we go. Even though it has only four weapons. So these weapon racks are the same as those on the Redeemer. So you have only four slots and you cannot put a pistol or multi-tool or med gun over here. Multi-tool negative, pistol negative, and uh, med gun is negative. But you can put a size one and size two weapons. That's it. So four slots. That's why I say the weapons rack on the Redeemer is a little bit, uh, you know, it should have at least one extra for heavy weapons because the Redeemer is a heavy gunship. Okay, so this is the Vanguard Harbinger and for the Vanguard Sentinel, it's exactly the same. So I'm not going to show you that. And for the Vanguard Warden, the weapons rack is on the other side of the ship. But the weapons rack on the Vanguard Warden are exactly same as in this one. So I'm not going to show you the Vanguard Warden either. But the Vanguard Hoplite has the best... Oh, what happened to my wing? The Vanguard Hoplite has the best weapons rack among all the Vanguard series. And look at that. How beautiful is this? 10 weapon slots. And you can put... So you can put size 1 and size 2 weapons. You can put a pistol. You can put a med gun, and you can put a multi-tool. Very nice. However, you can see over here, it looks like you have more weapons rack, right? Like heavy weapons, but you cannot put any heavy weapon or any other weapon. So these two are not functional. Also, also on this side, you also have two little, looks like a weapons rack, right? They are not functional. Because this is a drop ship, you have all these drop seats. So if you do multi-crew drop things, and you have all these weapons you can pull out. Very nice for the Vanguard Hoplite. Let's take a look at the Terrapin. The Terrapin has a really nice looking weapons rack over here. So on the bottom, as you can see, you can put pistols, you can put med gun, you can put multi-tools. 
How nice is that? You can put six of them. And for the top, you can put four size one and size two weapons. However, there is a little bit of problem I will show you. So for these two little slots here, it's really difficult for you to place your weapon, especially the first one. So there we go. You can place this one over here. And if you want to play a weapon for the first one, it's really difficult for you to find the place marker. And you have to look very, very carefully to, to find it. You can see. But I do have a trick. If you hit escape and hit options and game setting, under game setting, there is um, interaction mode toggle. So turn that to yes. So basically what you're doing is if you press F, it's toggled. So the interaction mode is toggled. That way you can move your WASD, move around to find that place button. But you have to hold your weapon first. So I'm going to hold my weapon and then toggle the interaction. So now you just easily move around to find that place marker. There we go. Now you find the place and then place your weapon. So these two little slots are a little bit uh, encumbersome to place those weapons. So once you're done, you can go back to options and turn that uh, interaction mode toggle to no. Yeah, same thing. The left one, this one, and this one is a little bit difficult to place. So you might have to use that little trick to make it a little bit easier. Otherwise, you have to hold down F and move. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Next ship is the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie has one of the best weapon racks in game. Look at this. How beautiful is that? And look at this. So total, you have 20 weapon slots. However, you can only place size 1 and size 2 weapons. For all those 20 weapon slots. You cannot place pistol. You cannot place multi-tool. And you cannot place med gun. So for the Valkyrie. Only size 1 and size 2 weapons. And no heavy weapons either. So once you grab. This is very easy to place. Every single seat. You can, you can see. Uh, you move around here. It's not like the therapy. You have to move to be precise to place it. Here you move around. Is no problem. Very easy to place. So every single weapon slot I've tried. Very easy to place your weapons over here. So here you have 5, 5. And over there you have another 5, 5. So total you have 20. That's really, really nice. Look at this. Yeah, beautiful. I place different weapons over here. So when I go on missions, I can try out different guns. Okay, for the Carrick, if you don't know where the weapons racks are, just go straight through all the cargo doors to the center elevator. So you have two weapons locker here, one on the left side, one on the right side. That's why I say it's, I'm a little bit disappointed about the Carrick's weapon locker, unless I missed something because I looked everywhere. These two are the only two weapons locker here. I looked every single bathroom. I couldn't find any other weapon racks. So if you know any secret weapon racks on this ship, please, please let us know. So you have two weapons locker, but it's really nice. You can actually open it. And as you can see, you can actually place a lot of weapons, but you cannot place any heavy weapon on it. Consider the size of the ship. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, you can only place your size 1 and size 2 weapons and your pistol. Of course, you can place a lot of pistols, tractor beam, I mean multi-tool, and med guns on top of these. So you have 12 for each side. So 24 slots that you can put. You can put 24 <laughs> of them. That, that's a lot, actually. And here you have 8 and plus the other 8. You have 16 weapon slots, which you can put size 1 and size 2 weapons. It's really nice though, it's not bad. It's just uh, missing something, to my opinion. Consider the size of the ship. Because a Valkyrie can place 20 weapons. This is such an enjoyment, just to stay here to look at your weapons rack. It's beautiful. And this is it for the Aegis and Envo ships. So next thing I want to test is this, since we have a Blusta over there. So I'm going to destroy one of those ships, which uh, has the weapons on the weapons locker. So after we destroy that ship, let's see if it will generate a box which will contain those weapons. Or are all those weapons will be destroyed together with the ship. Missile away. Oh, look at that. 
Wow. Fire. Oh, that's dis that's de destroyed. Okay, let's go check. Guess what, guys? We have a loot box. Oh, okay, never mind. I think this is uh, the grenade launcher that I put it in earlier. I mean, inside the ship, not on the weapons rack. So that doesn't count. Huh. Let me see if I can still see my weapons on the weapons rack. No, negative. I think everything is destroyed. Oh, you can actually take the components out from the terrapin, which uh, you cannot do that when the ship is not destroyed. Oh, this is nice. You can take all those components out now. I wonder if... Uh, Man, this this is off topic now. It's way off topic. Yeah, I don't see my weapons. All right, missile away. Oh, it's firing at me. Oh, okay. Another missile. Okay, so that is destroyed. And I don't see any one ICU box. And let's see if we can still access our weapon. Our weapons are here in this compartment over here. Oh. What? Oh! Our weapons are here! Okay, let me see if I can get it. I can! So our weapons are not destroyed. They are not... Uh, I guess it depends. So if the weapon rack is intact, the weapons will be be there. It will not be destroyed. Wow, you can take... Actually, I think I did this with a friend. You can actually take out those size 5 missiles. And components for destroyed ships. Which you are not able to for the Vanguard because the door will block in all those components. But uh, after you destroy the ship, even the shield generator. That's amazing, but that's off topic. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is it for the part two of the ultimate weapons rack guides. And we checked out all the Aegis and Envo ships. We also did a little test in the end. We have a little bit of surprise finding in the end. It's really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.